everybody welcome back to another video and welcome to my birthday vlog Woo! Woo! <laughs> so we are currently in the car as you can tell um i won't yeah we are always in the car i won't vlog for too long because i know it's probably really noisy and annoying but we are heading down south we are heading to the cotswolds uh, we've been in the car for like two hours already um, and we are going to Time which I'm so so excited about uh, it's a hotel and I've heard so many things about it and I've seen it so many times all over Instagram and everything and it's somewhere that I've always wanted to go to so because it's my birthday tomorrow and Sam really luckily has the day off on my birthday which never happens like literally never happens sorry hang on I've got stuff on the lens there we go um, yeah, so we decided we would go down there tonight and wake up there on my birthday. So I'm super excited. We've got my birthday presents with me, with us, haven't we? And and the cake. Um, so we are due to get there at five. I really wanted to get there earlier, but Sam didn't go back from work for ages. So yeah, um, we will still have like a nice enough evening here. Uh, and then we're going to spend the whole day around this area tomorrow. And I also want to pop to Dalesford because that's somewhere that I've never been. Well, I've been to Dalesford in London and stuff, but I haven't been to like the original kind of big farm shop um, in the Cotswolds. So yeah, just hopefully gonna have a nice kind of chilled, chilled one. Um, hopefully the weather is okay. It's been really up and down this whole journey. Sometimes it's been really sunny and then sometimes it's been like really like cloudy and gray. Fingers crossed we have nice weather tomorrow because there's an outdoor pool that I'd really like to make the most of. So I've got my swimming costume with me. We're gonna do the spa tomorrow. Um, and yeah, just have a really nice chilled one. I'm looking forward to it. Excited? I wanna do a bit of spa tonight. Shattered. Okay. But are you excited? Oh yeah. <laughs> Sounds knackered. Um, but yeah, we might do some spa tonight depending on what time it closes. I don't actually know what time it closes. Um, I am wearing, sorry, it's probably covered in crumbs. I'm wearing this Oleada shirt uh, and then I have these uh, trousers on from Cos, which I've been living in. They have the black versions too. I'll show you them probably when we get there, but yeah, they're so, so nice. And then these sunnies are from ASOS. Um, jewelry wise, I just have my Monica Vinida necklace on, which is this one. And then this pendant I get asked quite a lot about, this little one here. Sam got me that for our wedding. Um, and the rest of my jewelry is Monica Vinida as well. Uh, my hoops are Alighieri. So I will chat to you guys more when we get there, I think, um, and show you guys around and everything. Hopefully the light will still be okay by the time we arrive actually to show you around. Uh, so yeah, I'll see you then. So we've just got to our room. We're staying in the dairy. So I thought I'd show you before we make it all messy. So you walk into this little living area. We've got a fireplace, which we probably won't be using because it's actually really warm. Um, and then you have a little kitchen over here. This is me, hi. Um, and then if we go upstairs, out here is like, this is the restaurant, the ox barn, so, so beautiful. Um, and we're gonna need to have like a proper little explore. But yeah, then you go upstairs. <laughs> Up here, Sam has to be careful in here because it's quite low. Um, this is the bedroom. Hang on, let me turn the other way because it's a bit, a bit dark there we go this is the bedroom bed here we have a nice bath here and then this is the bathroom in here so yeah I feel like I mean it is gorgeous but I've definitely seen like nicer rooms here personally this was the last one that was left because we literally booked it like really last minute that's such a nice view though Oh gorge. Um, yeah, I've seen rooms that are a little bit less kind of like dark, I guess, but it's nice and cozy anyway. Um, but yeah, so yeah, we're looking forward to a little bath in here later. So we are just having a little wander around. We're looking for the spa, but like that, those stones will be really annoying. Yeah, we're looking for the spa, but I don't actually know where it is. Maybe this way? Is it in there? Sure. That's our little room over there. That one. What's it? The dairy. Yeah. I don't know where it is. Yeah. Okay, so we found the spa and we've also just stumbled across this beautiful like house section of the hotel. It's so so pretty. Gorgeous. 
And then we're just en route to the Meadow Spa now. Look at all this lavender. So beautiful, it smells incredible. Can't go over this gorgeous house. Have to get a little picky here. There are all the bees in the lavender. Right? Yeah, there's loads of them. So nice. Oh my god, look at all the butterflies. Oh my goodness, I actually can't get over this house. This is like the dream house, isn't it? So I'm going to talk really quietly because there's quite a lot of people around. <laughs> but we've just got to the pool area where we are just going to relax for a little bit before dinner later on. So we'll probably just stay here for an hour or so and then go and get ready for dinner. But it's so, so lovely. Let me try and show you without getting it on the net. Hang on. There we go. So, so nice. I'm just gonna sit here and read my book. Sam's here as well, with his iPad. <laughs> We're just leaving the pool, so I thought I'd get Sam to show you my outfit. Okay. My shoes are from Port and Pair, and that's Porter. Uh, trousers, of course, and then shirt is on the other. <laughs> you don't need to go back to <laughs> Yeah, that's the look. These are ASOS. Okay, let's go. Can you see them on? <laughs> you wanna see them on? Yeah. <laughs> so we're just back in the room, got a little white wine spritzer and um, we're just going to get ready now for dinner. We've got like an hour and a bit. So just going to get ready slowly, I'm going to curl my hair. This is my hair without the extensions. I've had my extensions removed, so sorry Sam's got the football on in the background. Um, I've had my extensions removed, so it's my first time like styling it really without the extensions. So I'm a bit like not really sure how to style it. But I'm gonna try and curl it, uh, and yeah, then we're gonna go for some dinner. So this is the outfit I've gone for. It's a little Topshop dress from literally like years ago. I'll show you it properly when we're outside because the light in here, I know, isn't great. But yeah, nice and comfy. Sam's got me a little cake. <laughs> oh my God, that looks incredible. It's good, isn't it? <gasps> is that Lotus? Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Written, <gasps> handwritten. Um... <laughs> Why? Oh, my first birthday is a wife. Yeah, <laughs> so we have just got ready for dinner. We're just gonna go for a little drink before uh, dinner. Sam's just grabbing his phone out of the room. Um, but yeah, such a lovely, like mild evening. It's so, so nice. There's no breeze really, or like a little one. Um, but yeah, it's just so lovely and so peaceful and calm here. So yeah, we're literally just going just there for dinner. Um, oh. Do you wanna close the window? Yeah, well, we might get bugs. He's up there. We'll get loads of bugs, Sam. I literally never listens to me. Um, so yeah, going for a little drink now for dinner. I'm looking forward to dinner, I'm so hungry. This is my outfit. So I have this dress on from Topshop. I literally got this like probably about three or four years ago. I walked to a christening the other day, but I've got to wear it again today. My flip flops are from Tukis. And that's pretty much my outfit. And then Sam's got my bag, let me show them my bag. Got my YSL bag. Yeah, that's the look. All the same jewellery as earlier. These little bits here. My Monica Vinida bracelets. These are Astrid and Mew. This is Monica Vinida as well. I haven't got my rings on actually. I left them, I left them back in the room. Yeah, that's the look. Shall I share them yours? <laughs> same as always. Baggy oh, hang on. They can't see. Oh. <laughs> you have to get that side. Yeah, there that's you go. Actually same as always. Baggy tee and baggy trousers. Yeah, where from they have to tell him. Cause, cause, Betcha. Nice. Betcha. 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 The light looks so nice here, like with your pink top. Let me take a pic. Look how gorgeous this setting is here. That's the restaurant just over there. And then here's the reception area. And this is just this beautiful garden with like, oh my God, so many flowers and pear trees. It's just so sunny. So gorgeous. Got ourselves a little spicy marks. My fave. You like it too, don't you? Well, obviously, because you've ordered one. Quite enjoy it. Cheers, honey. Cheers to my last day of being. Twenty-five. Twenty-five. Birthday weekend. Birthday <laughs> week. <laughs> Always.
so we've just got back from dinner it was so so nice really really good um but we are so exhausted now so we're just gonna head to bed and i will catch up with you guys in the morning when it's my birthday yay it's my birthday it's my birthday it's my birthday it's my birthday <laughs> it is my birthday today whoop whoop and i've woken sam up because i want to open my presents oh no i don't want to have some cake cake for brekkie oh. <laughs> no. it's so hot where are my presents they're at the end of the bed <laughs> So we have just got ready to head out for some breakfast. I am wearing my Oleada Dea dress. Literally the perfect dress for this kind of weather because it's not like super warm, but I still wanna wear a dress. So yeah, we're gonna head out now. We are just waiting for our breakfast. So I thought I would come into the boutique and have a little look and show you guys because it's got such lovely bits and bobs. So. I thought I would show you. Love these, they're so, so nice. And I love all of the glasses. How beautiful. They're so pretty. Oh, look at these little jugs. Oh my God, that's so cute. <laughs> love that. These are so nice too. I really, really like colored glasses. Sorry, I'm trying to talk quietly because it's quite quiet here. Um, oh wow, look at this. These are gorge. Wow, how pretty. So nice. Also, how cute is this for a little girl? Oh, I love it. The little bees. Oh my God, that's just the loveliest. With a big old price tag as well. So cute though. <laughs> um, we were told yesterday that the owner, I believe, um, creates these um, fabrics and like the kind of prints and stuff. It's pretty, pretty clever. Wow, I love these. These are so nice. They're lovely. Gorgeous. And then I thought I would show you here while I'm here. This is the bar bar, <laughs> which I love. Obviously a play on the whole sheep thing. Um, but it's so, so cool in here. Such a nice place to come for a drink on an evening. Really, really cool. And then I'm gonna to head to the other boutique, which is upstairs, I believe. Before I head there, I did wanna show you this barn, which is literally incredible. Look at those beams. I actually can't believe how beautiful it is. And they have like a little art gallery on here, but they have like events in here. I actually think you can get married in here too, which would just be incredible. These little holes in the wall as well, we were told yesterday, um, when this was a scullery, I believe. Is that what it's called? Um, <laughs> I'm probably saying this wrong, but that's yeah. where the owls used to come in. Um, but yeah, really, really cool space. All of this crockery is literally a dream. Oh my goodness, I love these scallop plates. They're incredible. And then this is the view of where we just were. Oh, won't focus, hang on, there we go. It's gorgeous, such a beautiful space. Imagine if you got married here and then up here, like on the balcony, you had like a band, like, or an orchestra or string quartet or something <laughs> beautiful. Um, but then this is the boutique, which is gorgeous. It's got like clothes, all sorts. I'll try and show you around quickly. Oh wow, look at the view out there. Oh wow, that's so beautiful. Stunning. All these gorgeous books. Oh my god, it's so so nice. Oh, such gorgeous pieces. Wow, look at all these dresses. Stunning. Oh, 
I literally can't cope with these little baby birds. They're so cute. Wow. Just chilling out by the pool. So lovely here. It's actually so hot as well. Really, really warm. I'm gonna get in there in a little bit. So hot. Gonna wish for better weather, could I? <laughs> Is this not the cutest little post office you've ever seen? Absolutely. So guys, we have left time. We had a bit of a weird experience breakfast, which I'll explain to you about later probably, because we have just pulled up at Dalesford, which I'm so excited about because I've not been here before and I really wanted to come and have a little explore and it's like 30 minutes from time. So we're gonna come here, have a little wander around, try get some food, and then I think we're gonna go to Borton on the water. I'm probably saying that wrong, uh, but it's like a little village near here. Um, just for a little wander around and then we're gonna head back to time, I think. So yeah, that's the plan. So I will try and show you around best I can, but I'm sure you will have seen this before on like other bloggers, YouTubes and stuff, because I feel like it's quite popular. Is it quite a big thing for that, is it? Yeah, let's go look. Sat down for some lunch. Where are we? What are you thinking? I think it's, I'm not sure which which one this is, but um, it's the cafe. Yeah, this is the menu. We are just leaving Dalesford now, and I have just realised I am super burnt from this morning. I didn't realise how hot it was, um, and I didn't actually think it was going to be hot, so we didn't bring any sun cream. And my chest is really burnt, and my arm, which is not ideal. But anyway, we're going to pop in the car now. It was so, so nice. It's such a lovely place to come for like a little wonder, especially in this weather. We're going to pop in the car now. Oh, look at that. Pop in the car now and head towards on the water. And of course, we could not get a little toy for Rafi. Put this up in the shop there. It's got a little squeak in it. There we go. But like a nice relaxed squeak compared to other dog toys. Yeah. Um, and I know this is going to get filthy, but I won't let him take it outside. He doesn't take his toys outside anyway, actually. Um, yes, well, no, but like we don't let him take them outside. <laughs> no, but I try to stop him. Um, but I can just chuck it in the wash, I think. So yeah, just thought it was really cute. He'll love that as well. Won't he, won't he love that? Because it's like the perfect size for him to carry around. Like he loves carrying things. Oh, he'll love it. We wanted to get him a new collar as well, but they just didn't really have any uh, like suitable ones really. Oh, do we know where we're going? Nope. Okay, let's put it in the maps. We have just got here now, so we're gonna take a little wander along the river, I think, to the village, because we've had to park a little bit further away. Um, but do you know what, it's such a beautiful day. I don't mind, I don't mind a little walk. Looking forward to it, actually. Hopefully we can get a little ice cream. And um, really craving like a nice little, I don't know, sorbet or something. Let's see. We just had a little look at the map and I saw that there's a model village. And I used to go to model villages all the time with my grandparents and Oh my god, the nostalgia that that will bring back. So I feel like I might go and have a look. They're such a funny concept, aren't they, model villages? Why? Well, I don't know, like, it's just quite weird, isn't it? Like, I love it, I'm all for it. But, like, that being, like, a tourist attraction, just, like, lots of little houses. Do you want to go to Birdland? Um, sure. show you what, it's not, like, high on my, my list of things I want to do today, but... Maybe we'll see, hey? <laughs> um, but, yeah, model village, like, what a throwback. I um, kind of forgot they existed. We're walking right next to this gorgeous river. How nice is this? So beautiful. Oh, what a day! It's just the best. How beautiful is this? People sat out by the river. Oh, I love it. 
I feel like this is like the kind of place that people write like storybooks about. Yeah, it's like it's not real. Like these gorgeous houses. People sat outside having a little drink. People sat reading a book. Oh, I actually feel like I'm in a novel about like, I don't know, just some kind of beautiful novel, like some Charles Dickens or something. <laughs> just talking crap here, but so cute. Just got ourselves a little ice cream. I got a cookie dough one. Sam got a coconut one. And we're just gonna sit along the river, dip our toes in and eat our ice cream. back to time and we're gonna do a little little evening bike ride just as the sun goes down so we're just picking up some bikes now these seats look severely uncomfortable like really uncomfortable <laughs> let's go so nice I don't know if I'm in focus I can't really see hang on am I in focus <laughs> I'm not sure if I'm in focus but oh it's so nice Sam hasn't got any gears on his bike so he's struggling but it's just such a lovely thing to do like as the sun's setting everything's lit up in such beautiful colors my tire going a bit flat. oh my god yeah your tire is like fully flat <laughs> yeah. but we're literally cycling past like the cutest little cottages like this one here is so cute. Sorry, I'm not even sure if you can see that to be honest because I'm obviously filming one handed. Here he goes. <laughs> but yeah, oh my god, so beautiful. Such a lovely way to spend my birthday evening. I'd love to find like a little pub en route and just get a drink before we have to head home. It's like a two hour 45 drive home, so it's quite a long drive, which is such a shame, but this is what it is, you've got to travel to go to these nice places, so... Right, I'm going to go because it's super windy now. <laughs> and I feel like it's going to be annoying. Um, God, I'm getting a bit out of breath doing this, you know? Oh my God, my chest is so burnt as well. Oh, good morning, everyone. Oh my goodness, it is hot today. Hang on, let me just adjust. Oh, it's so hot. I'm going to put my hair up because I know I'm just going to play with it constantly and I know that drives people insane. Um... So, I just thought I would jump on the end of <clears throat> this vlog because, um, has that really worked? I'm not really sure. Um, oh, hang on, hang on a second. So, I just thought I would jump on the end of this vlog because I wanted to show you the pieces that I got for my birthday and because I know a lot of you guys are interested in those kind of videos. I love watching those kind of videos. So, I thought I would jump on and show you those and... I also wanted to chat about uh, time and I'll stay there because I feel like I didn't really round the vlog off very well. Um, so hopefully you enjoyed seeing what we got up to uh, at the Cotswolds and when we stayed at time. So the hotel itself, let me just have a little chat with you about it because I have wanted to stay at that hotel for such a long time. Like honestly, it's been on my bucket list for such a long time. I always see people go on Instagram. It looks amazing. It is just so beautiful, like such an aesthetically pleasing hotel. Like they put so much thought into um, how the hotel looks and it's stunning. It really is stunning. But <laughs> we were, we felt quite let down to be honest. Like we were like, I don't, I don't like to, sorry about that. I ran out of storage on my camera. But yeah, anyway, as I was saying, we were quite disappointed with the service at time and I really, really, really don't like to be negative on my channel and I don't like to like publicly criticise things on my channel. However, after filming that vlog, I was really worried that some of you might see that and potentially book a stay there. And I feel like I need to be honest with you about how like we found it there because I don't want anyone to spend their like hard earned money and it is an expensive hotel, like it is really expensive. I don't want anyone to spend their hard earned money and then be disappointed. I'd feel like awful um, if you booked it off my recommendation and it actually wasn't what you expected. Um, 
So yeah, I have to be honest about like the experience we had. And basically, like I said, the hotel itself is beautiful. It's got stunning grounds. It's it's just lovely. Um, but we did feel like the service did really let it down. Uh, for, as I said, an expensive hotel, like you're talking quite a lot of money to stay there. It just wasn't up to like the price you pay, basically. Um, we had quite a few things that were kind of wrong. Um, a lot around the like dinner breakfast service. Um, so we sat down for dinner and they basically had sold out of like almost like so many things on their menu and it's quite a limited menu anyway um, and so they sold out and that was only like eight o'clock so they sold out of a lot of food they sold out of chips um, they would sold out of the steak but then they said oh we don't have that kind of steak but we can do your flat iron and we were like yeah that's fine we'll have a flat iron then and then they came back and they were like oh no sorry we can't do your flat iron you have to have something else um, and then like the Sam and then Sam asked for the burrata and they couldn't do the burrata because they'd sold out of that um, and then they were like, oh, we found one flat iron, so one of you can have it. And like, it was just quite, I don't know, just a little bit frustrating in, in that sense. But anyway, like those things happen. It is what it is. Like we didn't like obviously get annoyed about that or anything. Like we just chose something else and that was fine. Um, and then the following day at breakfast, so checkout is at 11. So we went and sat down for breakfast at 10 um, and we, they took our order. It took a while to take our order, took our order and we ordered two tap waters, a coffee, and then Sam ordered, like, I think it was like a full English, and I ordered like an eggs benedict or something like that. And um, we didn't get our waters for 40 minutes. I had to ask like three times. Um, we didn't get our coffee for 50 minutes. Um, and like, I went to the reception and asked what time checkout was, and they were like, it's at 11. And I was like, well, we've been sat in breakfast for an hour, haven't packed up our stuff or anything, because I didn't think it was gonna take so long. Um, anyway, an hour went by, got to 11, and I was like, this is ridiculous. Like, we need some food, like, we were starving. And like I said, it took so long to get the coffees in the water. So I said to, like, the lady that I was like, oh, I was like, how long will it be for our breakfast to come out? And she was like, oh, I'll just check. Anyway, they'd just totally forgotten the order. Our breakfast weren't ready um, and they were like oh we'll make it now it'll be five minutes and i was like okay that's fine literally like 20 minutes later it arrived on our table so we spent and it was on my birthday as well so we spent like literally like an hour and a half waiting to eat our breakfast um and i just felt that was quite disappointing because then we had to check out of our room straight away so we barely really got much of the morning in our room um and yeah i just i just don't think that the service is up to the cost of the hotel personally and um, there was a few other little things as well but i'm not going to go into it in massive detail Basically, I wouldn't stay there again. I think there are so many incredible hotels in the Cotswolds, so I don't think I would stay there again. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to like carry out that whole vlog with that because we did have a lovely, lovely time, um, but I don't think the cost of that hotel, no, I don't think the service from that hotel warrants the cost of it, if that makes sense. And I did have quite a few people reach out to me afterwards and say a very similar thing um, that they also, um, received quite bad service um, and around the food and the drink thing so yeah I just really wanted to add that on to the end and I didn't want to be really critical because I, I feel bad doing that um, but I have to be honest and like I said I've just shown you guys how lovely time is and then I didn't want you to go and be disappointed so yeah but there we go um, <laughs> anyway let me get into what I got for my birthday I'll quickly show you what I'm wearing as well this is a little Adenola outfit little blue set. I think I'm actually getting like under boob sweat though. And then I've just got these little blue shorts on and then my linen shirt is from Oleada, of course. Um, so let me just start. I'm just gonna pull things out at random. So I know I feel like I have to do a little disclaimer. I'm not showing off here at all. I'm not bragging. I'm simply just showing you guys what I got for my birthday because I love watching these videos. I did a video last year that I know you guys enjoyed as well. So I just thought I would do it again. But if you don't wanna watch this part, I purposely put this at the end uh, because yeah, if you don't wanna watch it. Oh, Rafi, your collar's really wet, darling. Let me take that off. Um, yeah, if you don't wanna watch it, then you don't have to. So are you gonna be annoying? Are you gonna be annoying? Oh, I love you. So first up from my friend Maddie, I got this. This is the Two Bros and Cashmere White Company Diffuser. I love a white company diffuser and this is my favorite white company scent. Well, one of them, I have a few, but definitely up there. Um, it's a really, really nice scent. It's not like too overpowering or anything like that. It's just lovely, um, a little bit sweet, but a little bit musky at the same time. So that is that one from Mads. And then she also got me the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask, which is in here. I mean, if you are on TikTok, you will have heard of this. 
um, and I've never tried it and so yeah I really want to try it so it's a lip balm I'm obsessed, I'm obsessed with lip balm and you pop it on obviously at night and then she also got me this soft pinch matte liquid blush from Rare Beauty which is Selena Gomez's brand uh, she said everyone's been talking about this on TikTok as well. <laughs> I feel like we just buy each other things that we see on TikTok. Uh, I love the packaging of this. So, so nice. Rafi, you're really not meant to be involved in this video, you know, and you're muddy from your walk this morning. But yeah, so she got me the blush, which is so nice. I haven't had a chance to try that yet, but I definitely am going to try that soon. Um, Maddie also got me some Aesop hand soap um, and also the like mini version as well. So one of the girls in the office has this hand balm and I'm obsessed with it. So she got me my own, got one for at home and then one for the office too. So that was really, really lovely of her. Um, I'm sure there was something else as well. Okay. okay and then some of my other friends and then some presents from some of my other friends i got this candle from neom this is the happiness candle which is one of my absolute favorite scents it is so so nice so i got that from them which was lovely uh Rafi, stop licking that please um, and then to go with that, I also got the diffuser as well, which is the Happiness Reed Diffuser. I think I'm going to put this one in our bathroom upstairs. Such a nice scent. It's Neroli, Mimosa and Lemon. So yeah, I got that as well, which is so, so lovely. Um, and then I also, this is kind of a funny present. I got a huge bottle of ketchup. If you know me, you'll, obs you'll know that I'm obsessed with ketchup. So they got me this mammoth bottle which is great because I'm literally never going to run out of this. And then my other friends brought me this pair of Crocs. Um, I mean, you probably already know I'm obsessed with Crocs. I have quite a few pairs, uh, wear them all the time. But then what I loved about this so much is they got me this little charm of Raffi. I don't know if you can see that. How cute is that? <laughs> I'm pretty sure she got it from Etsy. So if I can, I'll try and link it. Look, Raff, that's you. Um, but I just thought that was so, so funny. And we have like a bit of a running joke about um, like Crocs and charms and like all of that. So it was so funny when um, I opened that. I love that so, so much. And they also got me a lovely bottle of wine as well. Okay, and then I feel like I might not, I think I may have missed a couple of things because it has been quite a while since my birthday and I've been using things. So if I have missed something, I'm really, really sorry. I hope I haven't, <laughs> but um, yeah, it's been hard to like leave all the presents in the bag to show you guys because I wanted to use them. But Sam's sister bought me this. This is the Bedtime Hero bath foam from Neom and this is in Camel, Lang Ylang, I hope I'm saying that right, and Cedarwood and it's a scent to sleep and it just sounds amazing and I cannot wait to have a bath with that. So it's so, so nice. And then Sam's mum got me some Vichy products. I absolutely love my Vichy serum um, and she actually asked me what I'd like and I said I've just run out of this and I'd love some more. Um, so she got me the Mineral 89 uh, fortifying and plumping hyaluronic acid daily booster basically i use this every single day uh, before my moisturizer i absolutely love it it's so so good i go through so many bottles of this and then alongside that she also picked me up the illuminating serum for eyes and lashes which i'm really looking forward to trying and then also the toner as well so yeah it's nice to have a little set and then there's also this which i think is a mask so i've got like a little um hyaluronic acid mask as well sorry Rafi's very much involved in this as always um so yeah that was so so nice and I've been dying to use that but I've wanted to leave it in here to show you guys but I've literally been dying to use that because I love that stuff so so much and then she also brought me this which is the flat lay makeup bag but it's like the box version and these are so so good I don't know if you've ever heard of these before or used them but they're brilliant like they're so good for traveling uh and yeah you basically just put all your makeup in it and it goes into a box but then you can open it up and just lay it all flat which is just so great and so so easy so yeah that's a lovely gift and then sam's other sister sam has quite a few sisters um got me this this is a plant from bloom and wild sorry there's a fly in here that i literally can't get rid of uh it's from bloom and wild i think it's called mother's tongue potentially uh or is it a spider plant 
can't remember now. Anyway, she got me this plant. Really, really nice. Lovely little pot that came with it as well. So that was really nice. I also got various flowers from my friends and my family. Uh, my sister got me a bunch of flowers. My friends got me flowers. Um, Sam's sister got me a lovely olive tree. Um, so yeah, lots of like lovely little bits like that. So then from my parents, I got this t-shirt. This is a war child uh, charity t-shirt designed by Vivian Westwood, um, where the money goes to stop, help stop the UK government selling arms to Saudi Arabia and then the subsequent war in Yemen. Um, so yeah, she got me that t-shirt. Mum and dad got me that t-shirt. And then they also got me this print from an exhibition that they went to. Um, about Marilyn Stafford, so this is one of her prints um, and it's a film fo photograph uh, in Paris and it's so so cool, I love it and I love receiving things like this for my birthday because I think it's so special um, and it's going to fit really really nicely in our home so yeah, it's a lovely lovely gift and they bought that from a gallery uh, in the Isle of Wight I believe uh, because that's where the exhibition was so yeah, got that as well and then also, this was so incredible so basically, uh, for those of you who didn't know I got married, I think you probably would know um, I got married but I kind of had two weddings because basically we had to get legally married in the UK before we went out to Spain haven't really posted much about it I, I probably will, I just haven't kind of got around to it yet um, but my auntie, we had a wedding cake just a small one and my auntie actually preserved two or dried two of the roses that were on the cake and then my mum had this made for us uh, so it's the two roses that were on the wedding cake and their stems and then it just has the date that we had our English wedding and then they had it framed which is so so lovely such a special gift and I'm really really glad to have like a memento from that day um, because I don't really have anything else <laughs> Phew! Sorry, I literally just had a sneezing fit, as you can see from the state of my face. Um, but as I was saying, I'm really, really glad to have a memento from that day. I think it's so, so special and so lovely, so I can't wait to put that up somewhere. Okay, and then next up from Sam. So Sam uh, paid for our trip to Time, and he also took me to another hotel um, up north uh, called The Tawny, which is such a beautiful hotel. I have uh, popped some bits on my Instagram, on my highlights about the hotel. It's a stunning, stunning like hotel super beautiful the service was amazing really really would recommend it we stayed in this incredible treehouse room which just had the best views and it was so so nice they had a, like a hot tub outside on the balcony really really special place uh, so he did that for me and then he also got me a few little bits as well to unwrap so first up he got me this adenola kind of sports bra and i actually hadn't seen this style before i'd only seen like the ones that i'm wearing now but i absolutely love it so so nice um, I love their sports bras, I wear them all the time. Um, so yeah, he picked me that one up. And then he also picked me up some leggings. These are, I'm not sure, oh, deep teal, they are. Um, so yeah, these like really, really gorgeous teal color leggings. And I actually feel like that would make a really nice little gym set as well. So he picked me those up. He also got me some face masks. These are the one one skin ones. He actually told me that the reason he bought two is so that he could do one as well. So I think this one's actually more for him. But uh, yeah, these are the one one skin ones. They're such good face masks. He also got me this photo frame, which he did say he was going to put um, wedding photos in and then basically didn't get around to it. <laughs> but it's a really, really nice photo frame. And it's that kind of like antique vintage kind of brass color that I really, really like. So I need to go and get some wedding photos printed. I haven't had any done yet, so I need to print some off and pop them in there. And he said that is for my desk at work, which is really sweet. And then also for my desk at work, he got me this which is kind of like a little desk organizer, but it has a charger. So you can literally pop your phone on there and it will charge your phone for you. Um, and obviously it plugs in as well. And then you've got like a place for your pens and like anything else that you need to put there. And I thought it was really, really sweet. And he got it personalized with Oleada and then my name. <clears throat> I don't know where he got that from. I'll have to find out and then I can link it if I can. And then he also got me some trainers for walking. I've been looking for some really good waterproof like walking trainers i have walking boots but in this kind of weather um you don't really want to wear like big clunky boots but often it will kind of like rain quite sporadically um or the ground will be wet or whatever it is so i said i wanted some waterproof ones i mean these are they're not like the most stylish of shoes should we just say that <laughs> so this is them they are gore-tex uh, Nike trainers, uh, but yeah, they're I mean they're pretty pretty bright. Well, the laces are pretty bright uh, And yeah, I mean not really much to say about them apart from they're waterproof super super comfy uh, Very grippy we go on a lot of like long hikes and stuff with Rafi. So yeah, you yeah I'm talking about you uh, So these are just gonna be absolutely perfect. So I was very very grateful for these I did actually kind of ask for something like this as well. So 
yeah he also got me them which was really really lovely uh next up he got me this record uh we have a bit of a thing where we tend to buy each other records for like birthdays anniversaries christmas we have a record player um and we tend to buy like special ones so this was our first dance song to jackie wilson higher and higher so that was really really sweet of him and then lastly he also got me these these are the new balance 550s i have been after a pair of these for such a long time now i have actually worn these so they're a bit dirty but yeah i've been after a pair of these for a really really long time and um yeah i was just really really happy to get them so yeah he got me them as well and then lastly from raffi because we are the kind of dog parents that buy presents from our dog um I mean, he saved up all of his money and bought it for me. It's really sweet of Raffi. Um, but no, so Sam got me this little charm. So basically, Sam got me this bracelet when I launched Oleada. Don't know if you can see that. Um, and he got me a charm that says Oleada, and then he got me a charm that says Raffi. Hopefully that is... Yeah, focusing. There we go. Uh, so that is from Monica Vinader. So yeah, really, really cute. And now I have Raffi with me wherever I go. I mean, I always have him with me wherever I go. <laughs> because he's like clung to me always but no really really sweet of him love that so much so that is the end of this video i really hope that you enjoyed it and i will link everything that i can down below thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you in my next video bye